Hello, my name is Adam Bean and today I would like to use the Vardin Grid, Vardin Grid web component, um, access it from JavaScript and connect it um, with Java EE8 backend. So how to do that? So now I'm on the Vardin Elements page and or I would like to use the free one and one of the free components is uh, the Vardin Grid. Here is the grid, so let's take a look at that. And uh, to install the grid, I will need the Bower, uh, Bower uh, tool. So let's do this. So I'm installing with the Bower the Vardin grid. And what Bower does, it basically clones the GitHub repo. And what happens behind the scenes, now I have a folder Bower components here. And what I also created is um, just an empty HTML page, which references an empty CSS and one line of JavaScript. Um, okay, so now I would like to start this and usually I use browser sync. So um, with the following configuration and this time what I would like to do is I would like to serve the contents not only from the source folder rather than from source folder and the Bower components folder components. So let's start that. Looks good first. And then what I also would like to do is to install the, uh, the uh, Vardin grid. And to install that, I will have to introduce a link import. And because I'm serving the concepts from the Bower, I don't need the reference here. And now let's see whether it actually works. So to check that. I would like to switch to the HTML examples and there is one example with what is it uh, first name last name so just do this I will just copy this Vardin grid example and to my code so I will replace the hello with the Vardin so just do this and switch here and we have that strangely enough two times and uh, what we don't need the data binding example here so this is not needed and we have the header we have we don't need the address so this was two times so we have the index first name last name looks good in grid, grid, grid. Okay. So now let's say I would like to um, to access that. Oh, this is therefore because we have the footer here as well. So we have the header and the footer. So therefore we have the header and this is the footer. Okay. How to access the Vardin grid from our code? So to do this, um, I would like to use the standard native component custom element API custom custom elements when defined and what is when defined is Vardin grid this is the name of the tag <laughs> Vardin grid then then what I can do if it's defined I can actually fetch it document query selector and we have only one grid so I can just say Vardin grid const grid and with a little bit of luck we should see something grid okay Vardin grid so it looks good this is the um, the Vardin component um, Vardin web component or custom element and now connected with the Java E8 backend so we have empty project here and I would like to use or to start with Maven again and uh, use the Java 8 template with the latest version and let's call it hackers so uh, now it creates it pulls the um, the Maven archetype uh, from the from the internet on and uh, so it seems like the uh, Nexus is slow and I would like uh, the Maven Central Nexus and what it created is a Java E8 project you could call it Thinwar or a microservice with only reference to Java E8 API 
and uh, with hello pink and what I would like to do is to create a new component and the component name is hackers boundary and hackers resource and the hackers resource is annotated with resource uh, resource with hackers and what we need we need a hacker as well so um, just do this we need a class and the class resides in a hackers entity and hacker is the class name and the class has a string first name and has also string last name and then has a constructor and convenience constructor first and last name and then we can here say I would like to return a list of hackers and import the hacker import the list and say the name is all get and then say return array as list and now I would like to say the first hacker is uh, the name is Duke and the last name is chief the next is hacker master Vaden. so now we have uh, a list of two and uh, we have to deploy that so how to do this i will switch to a java 8 server which is payara 5 and I would like to deploy the project. So do this, run. And um, so now it starts the server and deploys the project. And I will have resources, hackers. And now we have it. There's a, a small problem with that. So if I switch to the command line and say curl y minus i, as you can see, there are no course headers, so we have to install the course filter. So not a big deal, it's just one class in Java 8. So I would like to install the filter, and this is the course filter. And then I will have to rebuild everything, because the filter has to be pulled from the internet, so it's similar to npm install, probably a bit quicker. And just retry that. So where is my terminal here? Just do it again. Looks better. Now we have the course control. So now we can actually uh, communicate from the uh, from the web app to the backend. So this is the URI. And now uh, take a look. Take a look at um, at the example. So in the tutorial, there is HTML API. And I would like to have the HTML API of the grid element. And uh, here you see what we can do. We can specify a data provider. So let's do this. So data provider function, which expects two parameters, params and callback. So let's do this. Grid uh, data provider, data provider equals, and just use a more modern syntax, params and callback. This is what you would like to have and um, so and this callback expects two parameters the first one the first one is um, the array and then the total size so what we can do now we can say okay then fetch the data here with the URI and in case you are done so use the URI then convert the response to response json and uh, then we have json and if you are done asynchronously then we can say then the json can be passed to callback and this is the first parameter is json and the other one is the length and this is i think a method called length so with a little bit of luck it should work and it doesn't 
because I have two brackets. So let's do it again, missing after a list. So we have here and just do it again. And JSON length is not a function because it's a property. And now we have the objects coming from the server. So we have the Duke Chief and Master Vardin and it uses the fetch API, which is part of the web standard. So we built a Java 8 thin war and connected that with uh, a web component provided by Vardin using plain uh, ES 2015. So thank you for watching. Take a look at web standards igniter or the web components training or see you at airhex.com or at conferences or Java user group. So thank you and bye.